Hi guys and welcome to my channel. For those who are new here, let me fill you in. My name is Car, and on my channel you see me zigzagging across the globe exploring all different kinds of places. In this series I embark upon a 30 day road trip in the USA with my ride or die, my twin sister Cara. We depart from San Francisco and we'll finish our trip in Texas. In this episode we are heading to a new state, Utah, we take a major bucket list activity which is hike the Narrows in Zion National Park and we stay at this awesome glamping place called the White Bison. Making this vlog was as fun as the actual experience and I'm so excited to share it with you guys and don't worry I'm gonna share all the tips with you on how to hike the Narrows and which things to keep in mind when planning the whole thing. Alrighty, we are in near, we're in, we're, we just arrived in Utah and we're near, see from the mountains, we're near Zion and we're going to Walmart to get some stuff and we're going to do barbecue as soon as we arrive at the hotel and the hotel's called the White Bison Hotel and it's these wagons, super cool, can't wait, and we're going to do a little barbecue, let's hope it doesn't rain, that's so. Ready? Here we go. Walmart. <laughs> Got our nipple hanging out. Oh, sir, sir, sir. Sir, sir, sir. Wait, wait, sir. Sir, you dropped your wallet. Thank you. Just now. Sorry. No, no, yeah, of course, of course. Look at your cruising. <laughs> and I'm suffering now from option paralysis. There, I mean, there's one massive aisle of just cereals. It's gonna be a lengthy shopping session because um, I cease to function <laughs> when there's these many options. Luckily, the cheese aisle is less big, so it'll take only a while. Currently, <laughs> going so two miles an hour. <laughs> But Noah is loving it, I'll tell you. They see us rolling. They, see rolling. they hate it. Woo. Na 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 na. <laughs> so white and white and dirty. White and dirty. White and dirty. <laughs> Noah. White and dirty. It's need white and dirty. Who knows? <laughs> After goofing around a bit at Walmart, we bought all our barbecue stuff and left. And this is the moment Kara tells me I have been consistently speeding, unbeknownst to me, because I thought I was going 120 kilometers per hour, but actually it was 153 kilometers per hour. Miles and kilometers got me real confused, guys. Oopsie. I'm super stoked to be visiting Utah. There are so many cool things to do here, and I can't wait to show you all about it. In no time, we reached this beautiful glamping resort. And how nice is this place? It's called the White Bison near Zion National park and we rented ourselves a wagon where we would stay for two days i honestly felt like i was warped back into the olden day mormon times and should just put on my milkmaid dress run to the barn and go milk some cows anyways before we get all settled in let me give you a quick tour of the place you can rent either a teepee tent, a wagon, or even a cliff dwelling. We paid $170 per night, but the prices can go as high as $350 per night. We're in our wagon. How cool is this? There's the entrance. So cool. And this is the bathroom. <gasps> Absolutely brilliant. Hi. <laughs> that is so cute, guys. All right. So we got blankies. We got the drinks and the seats. And we have our barbecue. And there's meat on there there. Oh yeah. Asador. It's a little house. So barbecuing in the dark was a bit of a hassle, but the night sky was really insane, you guys. There's so many stars, it was beautiful. Honestly, I think this is one of those magical places I will definitely go back to one day. So after dinner, we went to sleep, because tomorrow is the big day where we hike the Narrows. For those who don't know what the Narrows is, let me tell you. The Narrows is an amazing hike in the narrowest section of Zion Canyon, upstream of the Virgin River. This gorge, with walls a thousand feet tall, is one of the most popular areas in Zion National Park. This hike requires hiking in the river, most of the time your feet are submerged and often you will be knee deep, waist deep or even neck deep in the water. We're, walking, we're hiking the Narrows today, so we're in Zion uh, Canyon Park and look at the line that awaits us to go in. A little harder than I expected actually. 
to get to this point. So we had to park our car. We had to park our car. We had to park our car in Springdale. Yeah. Take a shuttle here by the entrance, a fee, and then take another shuttle, which will take us up to Temple of uh, Sinavava, and from there we start the hike. Yeah. And then, the and then all that we need to get done in four hours and get back because else our parking expires. Yeah. And Lord knows what happens then. <laughs> Wish us luck. <laughs> all right, we're walking down the line. We're almost there. So we head on those buses. And the hike is on, Amia. Absolutely. Now, we've heard some other people have been doing this hike, and they said that this year. The water goes up to here yeah. for like a, There's like a, a big a hole. hole. Yeah. For a hole. And I was like, what's a hole? What? I, yeah. I have a clue as to what a hole is, but I mean, <laughs> they it said, you a bit like, <laughs> like a 50, a 50 meter stretch is what they yeah. said, or 50 feet. So it's like a little bit of a dip. So we're going to have to put our backpacks yeah. above our head, I think. Yeah. And then hopefully everything stays dry. And we're yeah, we're getting in now. Hope. Hi. Hi. Here we go. Hello, sir. Hi, how are you good, good, how are you? So, as I mentioned before, you either park your car in Springdale if the parking at Zion Park is already full. We pay $25 for all day parking here, then from there you have to take a shuttle to the visitor center. This is where you purchase your entry ticket, which is $20 per person, and then all you have to do is wait in line for the next shuttle that will take you to the temple of Sinavava. This is where the hike begins. The first bit is about a one mile stretch on concrete called the Riverside Walk. It was our plan to hike until Wall Street, which is a four hour hike to to go and come back and does not require a permit. Oh, it has begun. We're doing the riverside walk. 1.1 mile equals 1.8 kilometers. Yeah. And this is gonna be our warm-up. We're pumped. Yeah, we're pumped and we're gonna keep the tempo in. Yeah. Because else we're not gonna make it back to the park the parking in time. It's gonna be best. Let's uh look at this. Holy moly! Yeah. We're excited! <laughs> hey, buds. Don't attack me. No. no. Long turn around. <laughs> Just in case. We've even got, we've got, got attacked. Bite marks all over us. <laughs> all right. Still doing the riverside. The river walk, right? River walk, so they call it. 1.8 kilometers. How much do you think we've already done? 800 meters? I have no idea. Maybe less? I'm real bad at this stuff. Really yeah, me too. And, uh... uh Did you see them? <laughs> Anyways. Let's see when we reach the entrance to the Narrows. Signing out. You can see a clear difference between the people coming out of the Narrows, the wet trail, people going in the dry trail. <laughs> and everybody seems to be soaked up until their waist. So, curious to see what happens. All right, we did the first bit. Yeah. We went up until our knees. We've, done, we've got in two different puddles, I would say. Yeah, we did. Up until our knees and we're doing good. It's a lot of rocks, but we're doing great. It's fun. Shoes are looking super clean. Super fucking clean. Super clean. Cleaner than how I left. Yeah. And just to show you the traffic that goes on here, it's pretty nuts. This is, we've just only started, and we're about knee deep in, yeah. so you can see. We were thriving, and then we look ahead, and, um, and this is what awaits deep. us. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alrighty, we just went in, waist deep. Yeah, wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad, right? Yeah. I also didn't mind it. And it was also sort of sandy on the bottom, yeah, so it wasn't like cool. you'd be slipping or all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But yeah, we both took our tops off and then put them back on so they wouldn't get wet, so it was just broad galore over there. <laughs> okay, we're going back in. <laughs> Right. Who said you can't hike with knights? Yeah. Who says? Right, Amia? Exactly. Falls in the water now. Quite a strong current here. 
I might put my phone away for this bit. Alrighty, let me take the opportunity to tell you some important things. So definitely consider the weather conditions when hiking here. If it storms or rains, it can be extremely dangerous with flash floods. And yes, people have died here because of those, so you cannot take it lightly. I would advise you to also start your hike early in the morning so it's less crowded and you won't suffer the heat as much. And just remember that the 16 mile hike down from Chamberlain's Ranch require a permit as the hike is more dangerous and requires climbing. Yeah, putting on the t-shirt because it's getting nippy. There's not a lot of sun in here as you can tell. Guys, the worst has happened, it started raining! No! Oh god. I'm not content with this rain. Very good! Very good! And there's little holes that leave the water that let the water out, so it's not too bad actually. It's like a little fountain yeah, oh yeah. every time I come out of the water. Yeah, it started raining a bit ago. And we were worried because flash flooding is a thing here where we literally lives, a yeah. tsunami will come through yeah. the valley and sweep you away. And uh, not the equipment to deal with that, let me tell you. I know, man. But luckily, look over here. Blue skies. And that's where we're coming from. Blue skies. So that's where we're going. And... Uh, it's about 45 minutes off from the from Wall Street, so we're just gonna go for it. We're just gonna do it. Right, Amelia? Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. We're here already. <sighs> So for the upriver hike, I didn't even have professional hiking gear and simply used my Nikes, which worked just fine as long as you're not rushing when traversing the murky water with large rocks hiding underneath. But Nikes for the win, they came out looking cleaner than before. Uh, the one thing I would have brought is a walking stick to balance myself um, during the river crossings. Alright, you ready? Yeah. Alright. Gotta be careful. Look at your feet. Uh. And every now and then there's like this big rock out in the middle yeah. of nowhere. Under the water. <laughs> you don't see. Visibility is nil. I wonder if you need this muddy. I don't think up. so because I've seen pictures where it's really, really, really yeah, clean, like, you know? Also take into consideration that currently the water in the Virgin River has a bacteria in it which is toxic if you drink it and can infect open wounds as well, so don't forget to wash yourself properly post-hike. All in all, I loved visiting Zion, it's really so special and no wonder so many people come to visit Utah as it has a total of 5 parks to explore. Just Zion National Park had a total of 4.6 million visitors last year, which is pretty incredible. All right, we've been walking for an hour and a half now. Yeah. And I think we're about 15 minutes off from the Wall Street in the Narrows. Yeah. And we're still doing all right. We're still on the right. This is kind of like muddy, a muddy patch. But we're doing great. I gotta say, we're doing really good. Yeah, proud of us. We're walking fast, we're making headway. And just past a beautiful bit. The sun shines on us and every now and then, but other than that, it's pretty cold. And uh, see you at the Narrows. No, see you at Wall Street. All right. One of the last bits in the water before we go in belly deep. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. Still in the middle, as you can see. The canyon. Gonna watch the step. Whoa. Big rock. <laughs> okay, we gotta go through there. The rapid! This was the deepest bit of the whole hike and I did see some people stumble and lose their footing but all in all, very doable as you can see. We made it! Wall Street! Oh yeah. One way goes there, the other way goes there. I'm proud of us. We did it in, how much would you say? An hour and 45? Yeah, and we stopped. Off. We stopped a few times along the way. Short yeah. stops and some filming or picture making. Oh, t-shirt, putting on t-shirt change, but made yeah. it. Here we go. Very impressive. Very impressive. Yeah. 
So to reach Wall Street and back, it's a seven and a half uh, mile hike, which will take you around four to five hours. And it's honestly the best part to do that brings you all the fun attractions and then some scary fun bits as well. It's very doable and I even saw younger kids doing it, but I would advise against doing this hike with children under 10 to be honest, because sometimes the current under the water was really strong and depending on the season, the water can get pretty high. Sun is shining, we're on our way back from uh, Wall Street, so we're going to the beginning of the Narrows. It was amazing, it was really cool. A few deep bits and pieces, strong currents, but uh, very, very worth it. We did it, we finished the hike and I was so happy to have done this. Um, after this we made our way back to Springdale to pick up the car and drive back to our humble abode just in time for a nice sundowner and a lovely outdoor barbecue. Golden hour at the White Bison Park. What else is new? And then our wagon is called the Crazy Horse. Have you guys taken note of that? What? Our wagon is called the Crazy Horse. Yeah, not it. Be horsing around. That's not the alcohol one, right? No, no, no. Water. No. Drunken man. Uh-oh. Yoo-hoo. It's around 6.30 now, so we're going to prepare the barbecue now we're gonna have a, a barbecue we did one yesterday as well i'm just gonna have a chill evening now drink a little bit enjoy the sunset it's beautiful surroundings here i mean i must say utah so far is not disappointing zion was amazing i really loved it and stay tuned because tomorrow we're gonna see more uh, more spots in zion national park there she stands what a woman She's back, ladies and gentlemen, from hiking the Narrows. I'm back and I'm safe and I made it and didn't fall. I slipped a few times, so there were yeah? quite a few close calls. And now she's carving That's up a, some protein. Yes, I'm just uh, <laughs> making a little, I guess. Stew. Trying to bulk up. <laughs> I'm gonna make me, I need to bulk up, need my protein intake. <laughs> um, I'm uh, making a stew because this meat was like very, very tough. Tough yesterday, so we're doing it differently. Add some wine, some honey, some mustard. Table. And let it stew away. Looks like our view is so shit with that yellow container, but actually, mm -hmm. this is our view. Uh, there's meat on the grill, on the barbecue, and me and Gar just enjoying a drink. Cheers, Gar. Cheers. Cheers. Life is good. Mm -hmm. That southern peach lemonade is good, my god. I know, it good is. Stuff. We're drinking Courtney, no, Courtney's chunk. We're drinking George Clooney's. George Clooney's tequila. Mm. Just gonna wait for my meat in the grill to get nice and warm and then food, food. That was it for this epic and adventurous hike. Thank you for watching. I hope this was entertaining and equally informative. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you enjoyed my content. And don't forget to tune in for the next episode. Ciao!